Welcome woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. I've been trying to collect all of Kunichika's 1876 series, the 36 Good and Evil Beauties. And over the past few years, I've picked up three versions of Midai Jokuin, but I only want to keep the best one. So today I'm gonna to compare those three prints and determine which one I want to add to my permanent collection. First, some backstory. Each print in 36 Good and Evil Beauties illustrates a famous or infamous woman from Japanese history. Out of the thousands of prints that Kunichika designed, this series is considered one of his best from an artistic standpoint and from the societal standpoint of focusing on real, powerful, challenging women rather than the standard stereotypical geisha. Amy Rigel Newland in her book on Kunichika says that this series is arguably one of Kunichika's most accomplished forays into Bijinga. The quality of printing is superb. His treatment of the subject is fluid. The women portrayed energetic, wild. In the print we're looking at today, Kunichika depicts the official wife of the fifth Tokugawa shogun. She is standing in front of an orange gold folding screen that's decorated with a Tokugawa clan crest, which is a triple hollyhock. She's contemplating killing someone, as you can see. She's drawing a tanto, or short double-edged sword. You can read the translation below in the comments for more details of the story. So let's take a look at these three prints and decide which one to keep. I'm numbering these prints one, two, three, so we can keep them straight. Let's start with the easier disqualifiers, backed or not. Many times prints were glued into books in order to keep them organized and safe. Many prints have that backing paper attached, like this print from the same series. But in our three prints, it's an even playing field. They are all unbacked without even a sign of glue. There's no major smudges, dirt or mold. There's no holes or damage to the paper. Next, margins. Many prints were cropped to fit into albums, sometimes all the way up to the edges. And this crops off the publisher marks and other information. For a collector, it's important to have a complete print, including full margins. So we can easily see that the margins have been cropped on these two prints and not on this one. Now let's look at the overall paper quality. Over the years, light and the environment can damage the mulberry paper that these were printed on. If we compare, we can see that the brightest and best preserved print is number two. Look at the yellow circular pattern behind the kanji at the top. It's clearly visible, while on prints one and three, it's harder to make out. Finally, let's look at the quality of the impression. The cherry blocks that were used would wear down with use, especially the thin, thin lines would start to break. This is one of the harder aspects to judge, especially when you have prints of similar quality. Also, we don't know how many of these were printed. There was only one edition of this series as far as I know, so there could have been anywhere from 4,000 to 8,000 printed. Here's some key areas of each print. Let's see if we can spot the better impression. The hair and the eyes have some of the finest lines. These all look fairly sharp to me. We can also look at the pattern on the kimono. In this one, I think number two looks a bit more defined to me. And of course, the kanji is also a good place to compare the sharpness of the impression. Once again, these all look similar. There's no obvious breaking or flattening of the ink. Here's a close-up of the embossing on the kimono collar. It looks like number two is cleaner and has more definition. Okay, so that was a bit harder than I thought. I'm going to eliminate number three because of the trimming and the color quality. And that leaves us with number one, number two. Number one would be the no-brainer because it does have a full margin, but I really like the paper quality, the brightness and the impression of number two. So I am going to add number two to my permanent collection. Let me know if you agree or disagree and happy collecting.